control valve is uh, and final control element used to control flow rate wherever you want to control the flow rate of liquid you need a control valve control valve is uh, yes Yes. This is the control valve. This is uh, the stem. This is the one plug. Here, this is the flexible member. This, uh, this, uh, this one blue is the flexible member. Flexible member. Diaphragm. If uh, air inlet is given here, the 3 to 15 PSI we have seen, you know, that 3 to 15 PSI is applied here. When 3 PSI is, this is the position. The valve plug will be like this. The liquid will enter through this and it will go through this, go through this and leave through this. Against the gravity, it will flow. When 3 PSI is applied, when 15 PSI is applied, the valve will be completely closed. Here, the plug position will be like this. Completely closed. This is uh, completely closed. This is completely closed. Yes. Completely closed. If uh, 3 PSE is given, it will be like this. It 
its position will be like this because uh, 3 psi means it uh, regained to initial position if you apply 15 psi higher pressure it will come down and completely closed so it requires the air to close that's why this types of uh, valve is called air to close air to close valve for 3 psi for 3 psi 100% open for 15 psi 100% closed for 3 psi completely closed 3 psi 3 psi this is the position for 3 psi this is the position for 15 psi position for 15 psi this is uh, air to open there are two types of valves one is air to close another one is air to open the difference is uh, if you apply the inlet air in the top side it is air to close so here it will be like this Then will be here. The air will be applied here. Air inlet. So by looking at the valve, if the air inlet is on the top side, means air to close. The air inlet is in the bottom, means air to open. So this, uh, so. The valve position, valve plug position will determine whether it is completely open or completely closed. Here, for 3 PSI, it is completely open. For 15 PSI, it is completely closed. Therefore, air is required to close. That's why this valve is called air to close. Here, for 3 PSI, it is completely closed. So, we have to lift this plug up so that it will be open. Air is required to open. That's why air to open type. So, there are two types. Basically, two types. Air to open, air to close. What is the need of the spring? Suppose we are applying 15 PSI. It is completely closed. Am I correct or not? I am withdrawing the pressure suddenly. Where it has to go? It should completely open. You know? That's why the spring will open completely. So, the pressure will work against spring. The pressure will work against spring. That's why if you remove that uh, pressure, automatically it regains to original position. That's why the spring is lo spring loaded. The stem is loaded with the spring. That is, there are initially two types. One is called air to close. Another one is called air to open. Another difference is there. That difference is... Uh, one is called the linear valve. Linear valve. That linear valve means its behavior will be linear. Its behavior will be linear. If you plot between valve opening, valve opening, how it varies? 3 to 15 PSI or we can say that 0 to 100%. 0 to 100%. We can say that uh, 0 to 100%. 50% means 9 PSI. What is the middle value? Middle value is 9 PSI. Huh? 9 PSI means middle value, 50% open. So here also 0 to 100%. Linear means for opening, this is the x axis is open. 0 to 100% opening, the flow rate is varying linearly like this 0 to 100 percent flow rate also varies from 0 to 100 percent then it is called linear valve provided provided the pressure drop across the valve is constant if, uh, between this end a this end is a this end is b inlet is b outlet is a 
if pressure across a and b is constant then the linear valve will give linear flow rate linear flow rate if opening is 50% if opening is 50% 50% flow rate also will be 50% if opening is 100% flow rate also 100% flow rate if opening is 0% flow rate 0% so that it behaves like linear another valve is there its behavior will be its behavior will be equal percentage equal percentage hundred percent flow rate will be hundred percent for fifty percent for fifty percent opening maybe flow rate may be twenty five percent around twenty five percent so it is not uniform nonlinear behavior this is equal percentage value equal percentage value how this difference came into picture means depends upon the dimension of the plug plug dimension that is mechanical subject how the plug dimension is there accordingly the flow rate will vary like this so if the plug is designed in such a way that it gives linear flow rate the plug is designed in such a way that it gives non linear flow rate for 50% gives only 25 but after that it suddenly increases so after 50% opening it it increases very fast it on 100% open it goes to 100% flow rate so this is flow rate this is flow rate flow rate is in y axis flow rate is in y axis opening is opening is in the x axis opening is in x axis 0 to 100% opening 0 to 100% open. Another control wall, another design in the plug shape is there that is called quick opening. Quick opening. Quick opening. It will be like this. For 50% opening, it will give around 75% flow rate. For 100% opening, it gives 100% flow rate. And uh, for 25%, it gives almost 50% flow rate. This is quickly opens. These are all depends upon the shape of the plug, valve plug. Provided pressure drop across the valve is constant. This is possible only when pressure drop across the valve is constant. This, this cadence is called inherent cadence. Inherent. Inherent characteristics. We call the valve by inherent characteristics. If you keep the pressure drop across the valve constant, it behaves like this. If uh, the, in, the relation between opening and flow rate is linear, then it is called linear valve, provided the pressure drop across the valve is constant. If it behaves uh, for 50%, it opens, so it flow rate increases only up to 25%. Around, I'm not, this is typical value, not exactly. Uh, it is not 50%, less than 50% means it is equal percentage. The flow rate for 50% open, flow rate is above 50% means quick opening valve. This is called quick opening. Quick opening. Quick opening valve, equal percentage valve, linear. There are three types of valves are there. So, e linear valve may be air to open, air to close. Equal percentage valve also can be air to open, air to close. There is no distinction. We can we can we can made either air to open or air to close. Similarly, quick opening also can be air to open or air to close. So six way six way we can classify. Each one can be air to open or air to close. So uh, you can understand from the where we are giving air inlet. From that you can understand that whether it is air to open or air to close. That you can understand. If it is in the bottom, air to open. If it is in the top, you have to close. That's all. Here, if we, if the pressure drop is constant, the pressure drop across the valve is constant. This is the this is the pipeline connected to connected to valve.
connected to the valve. This is the valve symbol. I am using symbol now. So here, some constant pressure is here. Constant pressure. Because here one more tank is there. The tank is full always. The tank level varies. Pressure will vary, no. That's why let us assume that tank is always full. Tank is always full. That's why the, uh, the pressure at this point at A is constant. Pressure at B is constant. Atmospheric pressure. So pressure between A and B is constant because tank is always full. Point B is at atmospheric pressure constant. But what is the pressure just before valve is not constant? Because the flow, the pressure drop in the line, line has some resistance. Line has like uh, a copper wire, even it may be a copper wire, it has resistance. There will be a potential drop. That's why at uh, peak hours, we may have, get a less voltage. The line drop because of large current, line drop is function of current, not voltage. So I multiplied by R, large current, that's why large voltage drop, that's why we are getting low voltage at peak hours. Like that, here also the line will drop the pressure. So this line drops the pressure, it is function of flow rate, like current. Function of flow rate, drop in the line is, drop in the line is function of flow rate. That's why if you open the valve fully, flow rate will be maximum. That's why drop will be more in the line. If you open 25%, flow rate is very minimum. That's why drop in the line will be minimum. That's why if you see the pressure drop across the valve, pressure drop across, across the valve is not constant. But what we have seen is, if pressure drop across the valve is constant, then only it will be linear. If pressure drop across the valve is constant, then only it will be equal percentage. The shape is called equal percentage. The pressure drop across the valve is constant, then only it will be quick opening. Pressure varies, what will happen that we have to see. If pressure drop is more for more flow rate means the pressure drop across the valve, pressure across the valve will be minimum. Am I correct or not? For maximum flow rate, pressure across the valve will be minimum. For minimum flow rate, pressure across the valve will be maximum. Am I correct or not? When the flow rate is minimum, line drop is minimum because flow rate is very small. That's why pressure drop across the valve will be large. When the flow rate is maximum, the line drop is more. That's why pressure drop across the valve is minimum. That's why it is not uniform. But pressure drop across the valve is varying. If we allow to vary the pressure drop, what is the characteristics? How the characteristic will vary? The linear valve will be looking like this. The linear valve will be looking like this. Linear valve will be looking like this. This characteristic if if pressure drop constant. This characteristic if pressure drop varies as function of flow rate flow rate as function of flow rate. If you allow to vary the pressure drop, it will be like this. Here, equal percentage, it will be like this. This is uh, pressure drop varies. Pressure drop varies. Pressure drop constant. Here, it becomes more quick opening. This is pressure drop varies. Here, pressure drop Across valve, pressure drop across valve, constant. So what happens to the characteristics? If it is a linear valve, it is not linear, no more. If pressure drop across the valve is not constant. If it is equal percentage, it becomes linear. It becomes linear. If it is quick opening, it becomes more quick opening. This is when... Pressure drop is constant means this is the inherent characteristics. That is called inherent characteristics. This called 
this is called inherent characteristics inherent characteristics this is called installed characteristics installed characteristics if you install in a line it becomes like this that's why it is called installed characteristics but the behavior if pressure drop across the valley is constant then it is linear valley that's why it is called inherent characteristics inherent nature is linear but under installed installed condition it is not linear it is quick opening if you take the equal percentage inherent characteristics is equal percentage installed characteristics is linear installed characteristics is linear quick opening inherent characteristics is quick opening installed characteristics is more quick opening more quick opening that's a, that is the difference so you have to get all these six characteristics in the lab how to get the inherent characteristics we have to get the inherent characteristics when the pressure drop across the valve will be minimum suppose uh, i am having one uh, deliberate hand valve is here i am uh, putting a hand valve here deliberate hand valve is here the flow rate is uh, small that's why pressure drop across the valve will be maximum always here zero at point b always zero open atmosphere here the pressure will be higher at low small flow rate say 10% opening but i am closing this i am closing this if i close that i am introducing some resistance am i correct or not in the line i am introducing more resistance that's why pressure will drop here more pressure drop will ha happens here pressure drop will occur pressure drop will occur here that's why pressure across the valve will be reduced further now when the pressure drop across the valve will be minimum if it is not there let us assume that it is not there when the pressure drop across the valve will be minimum pressure drop across the valve will be minimum when for 100 percent flow rate am i correct or not the flow rate is maximum line drop will be maximum here itself here itself it will drop here itself here it, everywhere the potential pressure drop is there that's why here you will get minimum pressure here you will get minimum pressure at 100 percent flow rate so if i put a hand wall here suppose i am opening 50 percent the pressure across the valve will be higher by closing this hand valve i can keep the same pressure drop across the valve is it possible or not how to do that for that one one single column one manometer is there single column manometer is there this is the single column manometer single column manometer means a tube that's all tube is connected here a tube is connected here that's all if you connect a tube, what will happen? The column will be filled, it depends upon the pressure. What is the pressure here? Here, what is the pressure? Zero. Am I correct or not? This open to atmosphere. Other end is connected just before the valve. If pressure is more, here, here, this will be filled with liquid up to this much, this much height. Suppose uh, flow rate is 50% means it will come down here. If the flow rate is 100% means it will come down here. This is for 100%. This is for 50%. This is for 0% flow rate. If flow rate is 0% means it will be up to this tank. Up to this tank it will fill. Am I correct or not? It will fill up to the tank. Am I correct or not? Up to the tank. 0% flow rate means it will come up to this point. So it depends upon the pressure drop in the line. This will vary. But for 100%, it will be minimum. So how I can keep pressure drop across the valve constant is, for 100%, suppose the marking is here. So for 50% opening, it comes here. It comes here. It comes here. It comes here. Now I can close this hand valve so that I can introduce additional pressure drop so that the 50% come to this point. It will come to C. It will come to see. Am I correct or not? Are you able to follow what I am saying? If you deliberately close that hand valve, this height will decrease. This height will decrease. By, by doing this way, we can keep pressure drop across the valve constant for all opening. 
Otherwise, for 100%, it will be minimum. For 0%, it will be maximum. So, to keep constant for all, it is possible to have minimum value for all opening, it is possible. By closing this hand wall, I am introducing additional pressure drop in, a, in the line so that I can maintain always this pressure across the valve. I can do the experiment. That the experiment is called inherent characteristics. What you have to do for 100% fluorine, what is the uh, column level in the uh, what is column level in the uh, single column manometer? Single column manometer means a column tube will be transparent tube is connected just before the valve. Just before the valve, a transparent manometer is um, a single column manometer is a transparent tube is connected. That is called a single column manometer. That the level in that single column will be for 100% minimum, 0% maximum. So by using this hand valve, you can adjust to always the level equal to 100%. So that you are keeping the pressure drop across the valve constant. For that, what is the flow rate? How to measure flow rate? For that here, one rotameter is fixed. One rotameter is fixed here. One rotameter is fixed. You know what is rotameter? Rotameter indicates the flow rate. 0 to 30 liters per hour. Here you can notice the um, uh, uh, rotameter flow rate. So if you draw that CAD 6, uh, uh, you are uh, you are making the opening for 0%, 25%, um, 50%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%, 100 or you can do for 0%, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 90%, 100%. This can be easily done because uh, uh, the stem is uh, stem in the stem. Uh, where is that? Here in the stem, one scale will be there. One scale is there in the stem. One scale is fitted here. Here, one marking is there. Here, there are five divisions so that you can uh, opening can be varied in five different ways 0, 20%, 40%, 60%, 100%. So you can see the what is the opening you can see here the scale. This is the scale. Stem position scale. Stem position scale. By using that scale, you can uh, you can see the opening. How to vary the opening? Here, air inlet can be varied by air regulator is given by adjusting this. Uh, by adjusting this, uh, you can vary the opening. You can vary the opening. You cannot do uh, manually. You cannot move the stem yourself. By applying the pressure, we can move the stem so that uh, uh, for different opening, what is the flow rate? If it is in linear valve, its characteristics will be like this. Then immediately what you can do is you can, uh, you can fix the uh, uh, rated flow rate. Suppose uh, this uh, linear valve is 400 liters per hour for 100% opening means you open 100%, open the valve 100%, here the scale, it indicates that fully open, uh, fully open. That time you fix by this uh, reg regulating this hand valve, fix uh, 400 liters per hour. Then uh, allow to vary the pressure drop across the valve. Don't adjust this uh, uh, hand valve after that. Allow to vary the pressure drop across the valve and get the CAD 6. This is what? Inherent CAD 6. Inherent uh, CAD 6. Now, you allow the pressure drop across the valve to vary. That's why you will get a CAD6 like this. This is called installed CAD6. Installed CAD6. What is the maximum flow rate? 400 liters per hour. 400 liters per hour. So, you got two CAD6 for equal percentage. Sorry, linear value. Then, do the same thing for equal percentage. Do the same thing for quick opening. You will get characteristics like this. That's all. That's all about the experiment. So the experimental setup is available there. Here, one pump pumps the water from sump to pump, uh, tank. It always pumps excess than required. That's why always there will be overflow. One overflow tube will be there. Always there will be overflow. That's why tank always constant. Tank level is always. Constant. You are keeping the pressure drop across uh, uh, pressure drop across uh, these two points, A and B, constant always. But the inherent characteristics, you have to keep pressure drop across C and B constant. C and B constant. Here it should be for inherent characteristics, 
this length must be at constant pressure drop. For installed characteristics, between A and between A and B should be constant. Between A and B, installed characteristics between A and B is constant. In industries, we can keep between A and B constant. We cannot maintain between C and B. That's why it is called installed characteristics. After installing in the system, then how it behaves, then it's called installed characteristics. So this way you have to do the experiment. Another experiment, the next experiment is, uh, uh, Here, one point I want to mention here is, uh, one point I want to mention here is, uh, you are, we are saying that uh, it is perfectly linear for inherent, installed it gives uh, quick opening. Similarly, you can expect that this you will get. But in the case of equal percentage, for, um, for in, inherent characteristics, you will get uh, like this, like this. For installed characteristics, you are expecting that it will be linear like that. It may be like this. It may be like this. It means it moves towards linear. That depends upon the length of the tube. It is function of length of the tube, you know. It is function of length of the tube. The length of length from A to B. That's why here the length may not be sufficient to make it linear. So, the valve plug is designed for particular use. It depends upon the length of the tube. That's why you can expect that it will move up. You cannot expect a linear. That is also there. That point I want to mention. But all other cases for quick opening, it will become more quick opening. Linear becomes uh, non uh, quick opening. Linear becomes quick opening. <clears throat> 